Joining us tonight to discuss the, uh, the caravan, make that caravans now heading toward our southern border, political commentator, best-selling author, Ann Coulter. Ann is the author of the new book, Resistance is Futile, How the Trump-Hating Left Lost Its Collective Mind. Ann, great to see you. Thanks for being with us. And uh, we recommend uh, Ann's book to you highly. Uh, Ann, let's start with the caravan. Uh, it is moving toward us. I don't, I don't see how it could possibly now as many as 14,000 people in that caravan with over 1,000 miles to travel. How could they get here before November 6th? Um, well, Kamala Harris is right in those, that quote you just played. Americans are not only tolerant, they're amazingly generous and charitable. Uh, but we're starting to feel like this is a con man preying on our charity. We've been quite charitable for the last several decades, taking in more refugees than the rest of the world combined. And it's not, they're not always refugees. I mean, the fact that so many of these caravans, one is hooking up with another and they're coming from all these different countries, right. at some point, it, the problem isn't one specific isolated problem with one country. Um, the problem is that all of these countries are dysfunctional. The problem is, is who the people are who are coming. If we overwhelm our country with even more millions of Latin Americans, eventually we just become another failed Latin American state. And the president has made it very clear that that caravan will not uh, enter the United States. Uh, and that he will put as many troops on the border as necessary to stop them. Your reaction? Well, um, this is why we wanted a wall, Lou. We, we have to keep hoping this president and someday the next president. Um, Uh-oh, another caravan coming. We're going to have to keep going through this every two months for the rest of our lives. And as President Bush said about the terrorists, we have to be right every time. They only need to be right once. Um, this is why the chant that got Donald Trump elected was build the wall. This is exactly why we wanted a wall. We don't want to have to wait on, you know, making sure General Kelly and, and Jared Kushner don't get into Donald Trump before, before his voters do. Well, the, the question becomes, uh, you know, the Democrats, the, the mob mentality, uh, and it seems as if the party leaders are the mob leaders. Uh, this thuggishness that has been exhibited, the violence toward uh, Republican candidates this year, which has escalated, uh, it, it is repugnant. And yet it goes on without apology uh, from, from the Democrats. Yes, I, I wrote a book about this a few books back about the mob behavior and groupthink of the left. It is, it's endemic to the left. It is not something that you see on the right wing going back to the American Revolution versus the French Revolution. Um, you always have the left ginning up, you mm -hmm. know, angry, the mentally ill, storming the barricades. And Republicans are standing there with a PowerPoint demonstration trying to explain how a wall or tax cuts will be better for you and improve the lives of lots of people. It is, it is not part of the mentality of the right wing. It has always been a part of the left wing. But boy, we are seeing it like we haven't seen it, well, I guess since Obama's friend William Ayers was, was setting bombs around the country. Um, since Trump has been elected, the, the resistance really, really has taken it up a notch. And the book is Resistance is Futile. How the Trump-hating left lost its collective mind by none other than Ann Coulter. And great to see you. We recommend the book highly. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Great to see you.